we're finally addressing the elephant in the room. It's true that cheap ballpoint pens write well enough, but is that all you're looking for in a pen? Is it? Ask yourself right now. When you buy something cheap and disposable, you might imagine that you're saving money, but we're not so sure. In this video, we'll discuss all the factors the budget-minded should consider when buying ballpoint pens. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Things to consider. Ballpoint pens use oil-based ink rather than water-based ink. This means that their ink consistency is on the viscous side and less ink comes out as you write. Theoretically, they last longer than gel pens, both in use and in storage, as long as they don't dry out before you get to them, which might happen if you buy a bunch of cheap pens in bulk. When considering how long a ballpoint can write, there are a few factors to keep in mind. Generally, the larger the tip size, the faster ink will flow out. For example, 0.7 or 1.0 millimeter pens will deplete more quickly than 0.38 or 0.5 millimeter pens. If you want your pen to last as long as possible, opt for a finer tip size if you don't mind having some feedback from your pen. Still, fine tips don't necessarily mean more ink. Multi-pen refills will run out even faster because the tube is thinner than a standard pen refill. Take the Uni SXR80 Jetstream Multi-Pen Refill. It's 3.2 millimeters in diameter, whereas the regular size Jetstream Refill is 6.2 millimeters in diameter. Now we'll take a look at different kinds of ballpoint pens and compare how long they can write for in meters. Disposable pens versus refillable pens. Cheap ballpoints are disposable and convenient to use, but how long will they write before they run out of ink and need to be replaced? According to a study conducted by the University of Reading, the average writing length of a Western ballpoint pen is 900 meters, which is approximately 6,207 signatures, 5,114 phone numbers, or 971 Christmas cards, though one refill was able to write an impressive 2,000 meters. You might be wondering, how many pages of writing is that? People online report that their big pens, which claim to write more than 2,000 meters, lasted 75 to 100 A4 size pages when writing on one side per sheet. This broad range can be explained by several factors, like how much pressure you use when writing, the kind of paper you write on, and how large you write your letters. For example, the less pressure you use, the less ink is dispensed. The smaller your letters, the fewer pages you're able to fill. While 100 pages might sound impressive, some ballpoint pens, especially those that are refillable, can write much longer. The Bolograph Epoca P writes for 8,000 meters, or around 400 A4 size pages before drying out. Its ink flows smoothly and provides a skip-free writing experience compared to cheap ballpoint pens. Plus, it's archival. Pressurized ballpoint pens. Pressurized ink refills last longer both in writing and on the shelf as they don't rely on gravity to push out ink. They use pre-compressed air in the cartridge that continually pushes ink towards the tip. The ink works similarly to that of gel pens, only becoming liquid as a result of friction during writing. But because it's oil-based, it won't evaporate as quickly as water-based gel ink. Pressurized ink is also more viscous, preventing unwanted leaks. The most well-known pressurized pen is the Fisher Space Pen, which can write up to 4,572 meters before running out of ink. While this number might be less than the Bolograph Epoca P's, the Fisher Space Pen is considerably smaller and compact compared to most ballpoints. To top it off, it also has an estimated shelf life of 100 years. Despite all these impressive features, pressurized pens aren't prohibitively expensive. The affordable Uni Power Tank, one of our favorite pressurized pens, is made of plastic and takes refills, though the body isn't as durable as the Fisher Space Pen. Low Viscosity Ink Low viscosity ballpoint pens like the classic Uni Jetstream contain lubricants in their ink, so the ball at the tip rotates more smoothly with less pressure required. While they're more pleasant to write with, they may run out faster because the ink is thinner. With frequent daily note-taking, 
the UniJetStream 0.5mm refill can run out in a month or two. However, these refills often come in a wider variety of colors and are compatible with other more durable pen bodies, so they're a great alternative to gel pens. Another popular low viscosity ink refill is the Parker Quink Flow. You can find this refill in iconic pens like the Jotter. Since it writes more dryly than a Jetstream refill, it feels closer to a conventional ballpoint, and it runs out less quickly. It's said to write up to 3,500 meters, lasting an average of 300 legal size pages. Not to mention, they fit in a wide variety of pen bodies from different brands. Cost Breakdown Here's an example of a cost breakdown between three levels of ballpoint pens. While a basic ballpoint pen has the best value from a budget perspective, consider what else you want out of your pen. It might work decently, but you probably won't care if you lost a cheap disposable pen. Not to mention, it's prone to breaking, uncomfortable to write with, unprofessional looking, and might even turn out to be a dud. Meanwhile, Pens like the Bolograph Epoca P and Parker Jotter are more ergonomically shaped, made of durable materials, and provide a smoother writing experience. The Jotter may cost the most, but it's meant to be passed down. It features a sleek, stainless steel barrel and stylish colors that are elegant in any setting. Likewise, the Epoca P has a classic and lightweight design befitting its price tag. Since both pens are refillable, they're much more eco-friendly compared to disposable pens that are meant to be tossed. And when you use a higher quality pen, you're more likely to take care of it, ensuring that you don't have to buy endless replacements. Which ballpoint pens are your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. You can find all the featured pens in the description and at jetpens.com. Thanks for watching.